Find the cumulative distribution function for the random variable x with probability density function f of x is equal to x for x values between 0 and 1 and f of x equals 1 fourth for x values between 4 and 6. So in this particular case because of the support you can tell that this is a continuous random variable. Let's go ahead and draw a picture of the probability density function. f of x is x between 0 and 1 and so that is simply a ramp a 45 degree line there and then it is 0 between 1 and 4 and then between 4 and 6 has a height of 1 fourth. So if you want to calculate the area underneath this probability density function using the formula for the area of a triangle 1 half base times height the area underneath this portion is one half and then one fourth when multiplied by two that's two fourths or one half so this area is one half so one half plus one half is one so this is an unusual but a legitimate probability density function for the continuous random variable x. Now in finding the cumulative distribution function which is what we want to find capital F of X you have to do it in various pieces here so by definition capital F of X is the probability that the random variable X is less than or equal to little x and on the first piece of the support that is for X values between 0 and 1 this is the integral from 0 to X of the probability density function W DW and when you integrate w, you get w squared divided by 2. And when you plug in x, you get x squared over 2. And when you plug in 0, you get 0. So this is the cumulative distribution function for x values between 0 and 1. Now the other interesting portion of the distribution, and that is for x values between 4 and 6, we need a different integral. So in this case capital F of X is the probability X is less than or equal to X. Now notice that if you choose any X value, and let's just say we choose this one which looks like it's about 4 and a half, we've already accumulated an area of 1 half. So we want to start this out by saying we've already covered that area of 1 half and now we're adding in the integral from 4 up to x of the probability density function which is 1 fourth dw. So this will be 1 half plus when you integrate 1 fourth you get w divided by 4 and that's evaluated from 4 up to x so this is 1 half plus when you plug in x you get x over 4 and when you plug in 4 you get minus 4 over 4 which is minus 1 and so this becomes x over 4 minus a half and that's defined for x values from 4 to 6. To properly state the cumulative distribution function we now have to define it carefully piecewise over all of the various pieces and there will be five pieces one to the left of zero another zero between zero and one another from one to four then another from four to six and finally from six to infinity so we know the capital F of X is zero for X values less than or equal to zero up above here we calculated F of X to be X squared divided by two and those are for, whoops, I said x less than or equal to 0 here. And it is x squared over 2 for x values between 0 and 1. And then it has accumulated an area of 1 half. 
So it will be 1 half for x values between 1 and 4. And then between 4 and 6, we know that this is the cumulative distribution function. That is x over 4 minus a half. And so that's going to be for x values from 4 to 6. And then finally, for x values that are greater than or equal to 6, f of x equals 1. And now we have all of the different x values covered. These types of problems are ripe for algebra errors. So one thing you can do is you can go back into the various portions. Let's check this portion right here. Notice that when you plug a 0 into there, it matches up with a 0 here. So that's appropriate, and it connects up with the various uh, port pieces of the distribution. When you plug a 1 in here, you get 1 half. And notice that matches up right here. Likewise, when you come down to this portion, when you plug in a 4, you get a 1 half. And when you plug in a 6, you get a 1. So all the pieces are matching up. So geometrically here, when you draw this thing, here is x, and here is 1 through 6. And remember, this thing is called the cumulative distribution function because it is accumulating probability as it moves from as x moves from left to right. So over here x is less than or equal to 0, that's that's that portion. Between 0 and 1, you get the parabola x squared divided by 2, so that is a parabola and that accounts for the fact that the integral of the linear function is a parabola. And then it stays at 1 half between 0 and 4. And then between 4 and 6, it is a linear function, which is not surprising because you're integrating a constant. So this is a linear function that goes up to 1. And then finally, the last portion of it here, it stays at 1. And that is the cumulative distribution function.